I think our work is about the sense of connection that can be evoked through joy, essentially. That's what we're trying to create in any circumstance. Our work has different formats. We make a lot of different things and different techniques, but overall we have a common thread. You know, our, we, we believe in positivity. We believe in making art is for everybody. Um, we tend to use a very similar color palette and we use surrealism or some sort of juxtaposition to kind of create this kind of impact. All of it is about taking people out of the what, everyday moment. Just yeah, for a split, split, and could be a split making second. that connection with what we would term as the sublime or someone would term it as just laughing or being happy or just having that connection with the essence of kind of being human. A Simple Act of Wonder is a multifaceted work. Part of the themes of it is about connection, communication and storytelling. And we have created an exhibition in Fabrica and a physical public installation in Morscombe and Bevendine, which is a suburb of Brighton. So that's literally meant to connect two separate areas, but also the, the actual pieces that we've created are about that essence of connection and storytelling. A Simple Act of Wonder is a, is a new commission by artists Walter and Zoniel. Behind the commission are a whole series of partnerships. Firstly, our partnership with Brighton Festival, a very long-standing partnership, is at the core of the commission. We couldn't do it without them. But also, uh, we're part of a European partnership which is also funding this commission called On The Point. All of us as partners are all making new projects with our local communities. On the ground, we're working really closely with Trust for Developing Communities who've been really important to us meeting people in Millscombe and Bevendine. So one of the things that kind of underpins this, the idea for this commission is the fact that there are a number of residential areas, suburbs if you like, in the city who don't really use the, the, the cultural offer very much that the city has to offer. So we wanted to try and create a commission that highlighted that by inviting artists to respond to the two sites of Millscombe and Bevendine on the one hand and Fabrica on the other hand, and to try and connect those, those two sites through an exhibition. Both to encourage people from Millscombe and Bevendine to visit Fabrica, but also to encourage people from the centre to go and visit Millscombe and Bevendine, which is, I think, one of the city's hidden gems. We first visited Millscombe and Bevendine in January of uh, 2020. When we first got there, we were actually quite struck by the geography of it. It was mm. the valley, the very nature of it. And it was almost instantly I had the idea to paint these houses because the houses are very uniform. And we thought it'd be really kind of fun a really interesting I, idea just to, just to kind of interrupt it by just like going, here you go, bang, you know, nice yeah. blast of colour. It has this real kind of sense of calm. It really felt like a village. And it has these three greens that were in the, the centre of the first spot that you drive into it. As well as seeing the houses as being on display, we also thought of how it, the greens would look below from the houses above and how they were looking down on this other yeah, canvas. relate to the space, yeah. So in Morscombe and Bevendine, we started researching the people, the places, the story, the history of the place. This then led to a lovely series of portraits. Then we moved on from the elements of the stories, gaining symbols and symbolism to using the patterns that we would then paint on the exterior of buildings throughout uh, Morscombe and Bevendine. And then we used the same patterns uh, to paint the huge uh, grass spaces running through Bevendine. Though we have set works that are in Morscombe and Bevendine, pretty much all of it is directly connected to Fabrica because uh, the portraits that we took, as Walter said there, then they have been changed and altered and worked on and are on display in Fabrica. And we have um, objects that people had given us as well during that research that we have put on exhibit in Fabrica also. So the installation in Fabrica, once being in the space and seeing the size and architecture of it, we really want to play with the colour again and echoing what we've done in Molescombe and Bevendine. 
but we wanted to work with it, not against it, but then somehow transform it to the extreme with color. Yeah. So we kind of discovered this uh, colored film, which we've used throughout the gallery to wrap and play and transform spaces. The idea was to make a, a tangible experience and the carpets form a maze or a path uh, similar to yeah. what we've done in Morscombe and Bevendine where you would discover little, little nuggets, little secrets. The pathways themselves are meant to kind of have this element of simplicity but also abstraction to it. So you have to kind of duck under certain areas if you see something that you want to get to. And obviously you don't have to stay on the pathway, but it's meant to kind of be this sort of subtle reflection in our minds of how we move through spaces and what are the kind of natural rules that we put upon ourselves in that context. And also there are kind of childhood games where you try not to step on certain things and also you jump they play through. Your lava. Yes, I yeah. Lava game. So we wanted to kind of work with that playfulness while at the same time presenting these themes that are just kind of part of the apophenia of our brains. So the portraits uh, were a lovely series um, after we met so many people in Morsham and Bevendine, uh, over painting on top of a portrait to obscure the actual person in the shot. So then what happens is you, you notice the backdrop and the, that becomes the focus of the, the story itself. Lots of people generally wouldn't want to have their portrait taken, but as soon as you tell them, so we're just gonna paint you out, they're very happy to. So they open up a lot more, they tell you a lot more about their lives. This has then enabled us to create a kind of a mythical kind of uh, narrative. We've named each one not about the person themselves but a character as if from a play. Yeah. Um, so they form these kind of characters of this story that we're telling about an area. Um, and so the portraits are here in Fabrica in the chancel and they're hung at two different levels, distinct levels, and so that you'd have to have kneeled down to view the portraits themselves. Yeah, we thought that would be a very nice way of kind of playing with the way that we relate to of honouring people effectively. Also the space and as well. The space and um, and then there's a series on the sides of the chancel that are hung slightly higher and they're all gilded. So the ones that are gilded are named after, each named after an element of a story, whether that be kind of honour or victory or love. And all of the ones that are overpainted in pasto are characters. So that in itself was meant to be this kind of direct relationship to the concept of storytelling and how we sort of construct our lives on a daily basis as a story. Because it's not a documentary, it's a piece of art. It's, a, it's our, our narrative interpretation. interpretation of the area. And we really kind of wanted to highlight that people were doing things that they may not think that that was like a special thing. But it is, yeah. Yeah, and in 100 or 200 years time, or 10 years time, somebody might think that is a special thing. And then obviously right in the center of this thing about storytelling, we find ourselves in this epic story. The particular kind of situation of COVID-19 measures coming in in early March, whilst they haven't changed the kind of core thrust of the project and what the project's about, um, they have had a massive impact on the way that the, the work's been presented because it means that people can't actually physically visit the work at Fabrica. We've addressed that by creating a number of 360 films so people can still feel what it's like to be in the exhibition. But I think, of course, what we have been able to do is to realise the works as they were planned in Millscombe and Bevendine. And now a whole series of people who live there associate Fabrica with this new artwork that's happening in their place. And that's something that we can build on for the future through, through other commissions. I hope that our work highlights the sense of community, the sense of, sense of wonderment in itself, of all these different people from the portraits, these things that are happening every day around them, and that the, these people are positive uh, around them because you, you get into these little bubbles, your street, your two streets. Well, actually, if you look a little bit further than that, there's a community centre four streets away that you might not have known existed. And by simply allowing someone to discover that, they're like, hey, that's great, or an orchard. If we can highlight these things to people, that's a wonderful gift. Yeah, I think our work feeds into that by people being able to pick out certain elements of stories that we have felt particularly inspired by. And, um, and by them, maybe learning a little bit more about those stories, feeling a greater connection to their own area if they're in that neighborhood, 
or um, feeling a maybe different perspective about this area that they didn't know that much about before. Also, the sense overall of all the work that we've created of the installation and the kind of research, and if you look at it all as a whole, then I think that represents the fact that it doesn't take much to recognise that everybody has a sense of community spirit, everybody wants to connect in a joyous way, and um, we do have a lot of parallels within us that can connect in a beautiful way.